Hey everyone, welcome back to Genius underscore 254 where we dive deep into the most fascinating and sometimes harrowing moments in history. I'm your name and, it, and today we're exploring some of the most devastating plane crashes ever recorded. Remember these stories are both tragic and eye-opening and they've led to critical changes in aviation safety. So buckle up as we take off on this journey. Let's get started. Our first stop is the Tenerife Airport disaster, the deadliest aviation accident in history. On March 27, 1977, two Boeing 747s collided on the runway at Los Rodeos Airport, now known as Tenerife North Airport, in the Canary Islands. The disaster claimed 583 lives. What happened was a combination of dense fog, poor communication, and misunderstandings between the two flight crews and air traffic control. The resulting crash was catastrophic, and the wreckage from both planes caused a huge fire, making rescue operations extremely difficult. This tragic event led to significant changes in how international aviation communicates and handles emergencies. Next up is Japan Airlines Flight 123, which crashed on August 12, 1985. This Boeing 747 was carrying 524 people and unfortunately 520 lost their lives. The cause? A faulty repair job on the plane's rear pressure bulkhead. The repair, performed seven years prior, failed under pressure, causing the rear of the fuselage to burst. This resulted in a loss of hydraulic systems, leaving the pilots with almost no control over the aircraft. Despite their efforts to regain control, the plane crashed into a mountain in Japan's Gunma Prefecture. This disaster highlighted the importance of rigorous maintenance and repair standards in aviation. On August 19, 1980, Saudi Arabian Airlines Flight 163, a Lockheed L-1011 TriStar, experienced a major emergency shortly after takeoff from Riyadh. A fire broke out in the cargo hold, but the plane was able to return to the airport for an emergency landing. Tragically, 301 of the 316 people on board perished from smoke inhalation before evacuation could be completed. The fire's rapid spread was exacerbated by the aircraft's design and the lack of adequate fire suppression systems in the cargo hold. This incident led to changes in how fires are managed in aircraft and has spurred ongoing improvements in fire detection and suppression technology. Moving on to June 23, 1985, Air India Flight 182 was a Boeing 747 en route from Montreal to London when it exploded mid-air off the coast of Ireland. The explosion was caused by a bomb planted by terrorists, resulting in the deaths of all 329 people on board. The bombing was part of a terrorist campaign by the Khalistan movement, seeking an independent Sikh state. This tragedy led to heightened security measures in aviation, particularly around the handling and screening of baggage and cargo. Finally, we have the Charki Dadri mid-air collision, which occurred on November 12, 1996, a Saudi Arabian Airlines Boeing 747 and a Kazakhstan Airlines Ilyushin Il-76 collided near Charki Dadri, India, resulting in 349 fatalities. This is the deadliest mid-air collision in history. The collision happened due to a series of miscommunications and errors. The planes were navigating in the same airspace without proper coordination, leading to a tragic and avoidable disaster. This event highlighted the need for better air traffic control and collision avoidance systems. These tragic incidents have had a profound impact on aviation safety and regulations. Each disaster has led to crucial changes in policies, technologies and procedures aimed at preventing similar tragedies in the future. We honour the memory of those who lost their lives by learning from these events and striving for constant improvement in aviation safety. Thanks for joining me on this in-depth look into some of the most devastating plane crashes in history. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others and subscribe to Genius underscore 254 for more fascinating historical explorations. Feel free to leave your thoughts or questions in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.